welcome to the NBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Thomas Santo. Joining me today is Totero. Hello, everyone. I'm totally not bottling up my emotions, and I can't think of anything else for this intro because, yeah. <laughs> I, 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 no, nervous? Nervous, yes. Nervousness, because that's part two of the episode. I'm not nervous. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I, 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 totally, totally, totally. <laughs> but anyway, in today's episode, we are going to review season one, episode 15 uh, of Pony Life. All bottled up and all that jitters. In all bottled up, Twilight Sparkle bottles her self is to avoid facing the fallout of an argument with Owlicious. And in all the jitters, Twilight learns from Potion Nova that potion making is harder than it looks. So, before we head into the review, first impressions are in order. And Tara, what do you think of All Bottled Up? Well, I think it's it was actually pretty good and if it actually had a good lesson to it. Talking about how not to keep all your emotions in and how, you know, friends will get into arguments, but if you talk things through, things will be fine. It's like, wow, Pony Life actually did something good. I don't know if it was, I think, I feel like that, um, they talked about this in French Based Magic as well with the same thing, you know, friends will get in fights and whatnot. But I guess you could say this is, uh, for two things, it's a good little reminder for people who forgot about that episode. But another thing, too, for people who haven't seen Friendship is Magic, but are starting to watch Pony Life, it's a good little lesson. I totally agree. I totally agree. Um, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> but here, here's the thing. Uh, the title All Bottled Up has been used before. <laughs> oh, yeah. See, I knew it was familiar. I know. And the, oh, man. Uh, before, I, I, before I carry on, uh, I, 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 are you done? Yeah, I'm done. All right, then. And as for me, this episode was okay. But the thing is, it's been done before and it's, in my opinion, it's been done better because I, I like the uh, Fr- Friendship is Magic version, season 7, episode 2. Uh, in this one, it's <coughs> Starlight, Glam- Starlight Glamour and Trixie accidentally make up a cutie map, disappear- <laughs> makes the cutie map disappear while the main six are on a friendship retreat. So Starlight used her spell to bottle up her anger until the map is retrieved. So yeah, it, it feels like this one did it better because the fallout or the reasoning is much more, I would say, better or believable. But at the same time too, um, Twilight arguing with Alicia's and trying to avoid it, it's there too. I don't know. I mean, both of them have their own merits. And in Season 7 of Friendship is Magic, it shows the dynamic between a uh, newly discovered friendship between Twilight and sorry, Starlight and Trixie versus the seven years or quote-unquote seven years of friendship that uh, the main six have. But uh, that's besides the point. Uh, back to Pony Life. The episode itself was okay. I like it. And it was rather entertaining. And we learn more of Applejack's fears. Yes. So, anywho, if you have not watched this episode yet, go pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, in this episode, we see Pinkie Pie and Applejack talking to each other. Pinkie Pie... Uh, wanting to explore out some potions and stuff until she gets a ring at the door and accidentally spills some potions on some cookies. So the cookies are contaminated by the potion and yeah, um, Applejack's there, leaves it be. And Twilight walks in. Twilight talks to Applejack about how she got into an argument with Owlicious and um, she not wanting to talk about it and bottle up her feelings. And suddenly, Twilight force feeds Applejack some cookies. And well, it's essentially Twilight eating cookie and force feeding Applejack cookies so they don't have to talk about their problems. And somehow that got them transported into the bottle. So in the bottle universe, we see a lot of 
I won't say strange, but a lot of things that we've seen before, from the dolphin to the monsters and whatnot. So, in this location, um, there's a lot of stairs that goes nowhere, and Applejack is frightened. She, she has claustrophobia, and she explains what it is. Uh, fear of tight spaces. So, she pops in from door to door, trying to escape. And she couldn't. And a twilight here just is going with the flow. Mm. I'm going to pause here. What do you think, Tara? One thing we actually forgot to mention, because them falling into the... Uh, well, you mentioning them falling into the potion thing. It just reminded me of one thing we forgot to mention in the last episode. With the um, all-surfing party or something like that. We forgot to mention one little thing where um, the cat that Fluttershy was quote-unquote friends with, he was in there too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I totally forgot. <laughs> yeah, we forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, but, but but if you notice, most of the items that are there are missing items. From Rarity Sunglasses to Rainbow Dash's Volleyball to Twilight's Book. I mean, they're missing, but they're... They're, how do they're also forgotten. Yeah, kind of. But at the same time, too, it's missing, but... Not really, because if if it weren't for Rarity, we, we wouldn't know, because the obvious, uh, the kite that Fluttershy was flying was cut by Applejack, and it's gone missing, but Apple, sorry, and Fluttershy didn't really bother about it. I, I mean, that, that's about it. But yes, uh, things, are, things that are there are forgotten, and it should be that way too, yes. <laughs> so... Anyway, carrying on. Here. Yes. Um, so, yes. Um, I can't really, I can't really say much. Just a setup right now where uh, just Pinky making cupcakes. She spills the potion and whatnot. Then Twilight mentions her problems, and then she eats a cookie and force feeds it Applejack. You know, just one of those things. We got a setup, and it's like, okay, you know, Twilight's trying to hide away from her uh, fears of telling people how she feels and whatnot. We see they get sucked in, and Applejack's fear of claustrophobia. It's like, okay, we're getting somewhere. It's something you've never seen before. Didn't know Applejack uh, gets claustrophobic. Oh. Yep. So, it's one of those things where we learn something new about uh, Applejack every day. Yeah. So, uh, Pinkie Pie comes back looking for... Uh, Applejack and Twilight because they were there at the counter just a few moments ago but where could they be? So Apple, sorry, Pinkie Pie does the whole I look everywhere and stuff and she looks at the bottle and says it's no, come on don't be silly they couldn't be in there could they? And well yeah um, she takes a look see and says oh my oh my god uh, Twilight and Applejack are stuck in the bottle somehow Let's go to Potion Nova. And Rarity is here, by the way. Uh, Rarity magically levitates the bottle and Pinkie Pie carries the cookie tray. I wonder why. But anywho, uh, they meet up with Potion Nova. And during the trip to the... Uh, what you call this? Uh, trip to Potion. Uh, the bottle shakes around a bit that it gives Applejack... Um, Potion sickness. Get it? <laughs> it's a pun on motion. <laughs> Tyler, Silver will be proud. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but anywho, uh, potion, the potion is there, getting her cart ready and stuff, and Pinkie Pie explains the situation and knows how to solve the problem. She creates an antidote and pours it into the bottle. Uh, it seems to work, except for Twilight. And Potion says that, oh, it seems that Twilight doesn't want to get out of the bottle. Her emotions are strong that it fights with the uh, antidote. And uh, Yeah, more along the lines of her desire of staying in the bottle is more powerful than the antidote. Mm, yes, that's true. So, anywho, um, Applejack knows what to do. And eats a cookie, becomes small, and gets sucked into the bottle. Yay! This reminds me of Dragon Ball all over again. <laughs> Anywho, Applejack gets, uh, 
pops into the bottle, talks to Twilight, and reasons we've heard that uh, it doesn't really matter because you and Alicia are friends and you can talk things out. And Tokno Jitsu will help solve every problem. And with that, Twilight comes to her senses and drinks the antidote and both of them gets out of the bottle and yay! Awesomeness! Like... Um, like what a uh, pushanova makes a silly pun or something like that, and then episode yeah, ends. she says at the end, bit of a bottle episode you had, huh? <laughs> uh, get it? It's kind of a small. Uh, that's poor in life in general. Ah, <laughs> uh, God. So, sometimes only life can be so painful. Uh, sometimes. But anywho, let's go on to the next episode. And next episode is All the Jitters. Tara, what do you think? Uh, this is another episode I really like. It has a good lesson. And we actually see Twilight... Uh, I don't know which one we prefer with either Twi- Twilight Nanas or... Um, I forget the other term. Do you, uh, do you remember the other term? Tw- Twilight Nanas or... I think it was Twilighting. Uh, uh, yes, Twilighting. <laughs> yeah. Twilight. So one of those, we see her go do that, and again, this is another thing that has a good lesson, and I like how she, we we actually get somewhere. Like we don't leave us hanging with something. Like when, uh, when they first meet Potion Nova, she she mentions about Twilight being her apprentice, and it's like, yeah, it's not gonna get anywhere. She's never gonna learn it. But then no, we actually get somewhere where it's like, oh, they're actually going there with Twilight, actually trying to be her apprentice. Yeah, I I, I noticed that episode thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen features a lot of Potion Nova because uh, in episode 13, the second part uh, is kind of a quote-unquote continuation from uh, like it, it continues on from well, uh, 13 to 12. You, you get what I mean. So yeah. because in the pre- in, in the last one, we notice oh, Potion Nova, who is this mysterious alicorn? And then we get to see, oh no, it's just a normal quote-unquote normal unicorn. That somehow sprouts wings on regular occasions. Like what? As time goes on, or uh, as we know it, uh, Potion Nova seems to be kind of prominent. And ah, man, it's one of those cases where I wish the crow was here. Yeah. Oh, um, are you done? Sorry for stealing your. Thunder. No, no, I was basically done. <laughs> uh, all right. And as for me, uh, this episode was okay. Like Tara mentioned, a lot of uh, good. Lessons were told. The story was not bad, and we get to see Twilighting again, or is it Twilight Nanas? Whatever you you pick. So, if you have not watched this episode yet, pause here and go do so. Welcome back. So, anyway, we start off the episode with Twilight heading to Potion Nova's cottage. Uh, man, you know what? I, I I just can't because every time when I think of potions, I think of Zakura. Man. Oh. <laughs> I know, how could they replace Zakora with Potion Nova? And Potion Nova's nice, so it kind of hurts me. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you know what? Whatever. So, Potion Nova hits up, and even this. Uh, it, it hurts in the sense that Zakura was meant to be a mental figure for Twilight. Like, the, the, like how Yoda was to Luke and stuff. Yeah, when she and, helped uh, Twilight face Trixie and whatnot, and the the whole idea for Trixie, sorry, the whole idea for Zakura was, uh, she was supposed to guide her in certain ways, and Celestia was guiding her in other ways. So she has this dynamic of uh, two different teachers and whatnot, and it seems like Potion Nova is replacing Sakura. Man, that sucks. Uh, but still, so, so, uh, carrying on, Twilight hit to Potion Nova's cottage, and um, thinks of ways to introduce herself to Potion Nova to make a good impression. And um, she decides on one which is kind of military, and she heads to the front door, tries pushing it. Sorry, you know, tries pulling on it, but it doesn't work. And when pushing the door, it kind of opens. Oh, yay. And you, you can clearly tell that Twilight here is really, really nervous on meeting Potion Nova. 
Well, yeah, you can see butterflies in her stomach, literally. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So we, we see Pusha Nova sleeping on the couch. Uh, and Twilight gingerly wakes her up and kind of pokes her. And Pusha Nova um, startles and falls on the floor. Uh, Pusha Nova just says, oh, um, you're here early. And Twilight just says, oh, yeah, I'm very excited. I want to help you with potion making and let's go. Uh, yes, potion, potion. Yes, oh, uh, potions. I'm very nervous here. <laughs> so, Potion Nova does a tour of the, what you call this, uh, kitchen or whatever it is. And shows her where uh, stuff are. Like, oh, here's, where, here's the cauldron and here's um, the kitchen and so on. And Twilight is very nervous that she mistaken a can opener for some mythical item. Yes. And yeah, so Twilight here is very, very nervous in her stuff. Like she she is not there yet. Like she she's not all there. So Poshanova gets a starting and the both of them create uh, create potions, and you can clearly tell that Potion Nova is well versed and experienced in potion making because uh, w- one of the potions that Twilight is doing kind of backfires, and before it explodes, she kind of ducks and covers, and Twilight gets the whole blast. So you can clearly tell that Potion Nova is well experienced in those minor details. So as as the scene goes on. We see that, yes, uh, Twilight is learning a lot from Potion Nova, but it's not getting it. Everything she does kind of screws up. And she, well, she's losing confidence. I'm going to pause here because Potion Nova tells Twilight to take a break. And I'm going to take that as a cue. So, Tara, what do you think? Well... It's like, yeah, it's like one of those things where you don't, not, not really much to talk about, but it is relatable in some sort of way where it's like, you know, it's, it's like, say, for example, it's your first time going to a new job. <clears throat> you're going to have butterflies in your stomach. You want to make a good impression to, to the person you're working with. You want to do a good job on your first try. And I can relate to that because there are times where whenever I try something new, I want to nail it on the first try and I get nervous if I fail it because I want to impress people with it. So it's it's relatable. It, and you see Twilight trying her best, but she keeps failing. And just the more she tries to press, the more she fails at. And then I think uh, Potion Nova is noticing that. And we'll get to later on how. The problem that Twilight is having is very relatable. Uh, I think it's one, it, it's, it, comes, uh, it hits home close when we uh, first invited Silver on. Oh, Sil- Silver is awesome. Oh, God. Oh, oh. Like, uh, we-, we must do a great impression. Ah, nervousness. Ah. Yeah, I remember when uh, Safi did that to me. When I made a spe- when I made- when I was a guest on the NBS show years ago for the people who <laughs> yeah. for the new people that are here, I didn't used to be on the NBS show all the time. Back then, yeah. my first appearance was a guest appearance, yeah. and then yeah. Sapphire Heart Song made me uncomfortable because I really looked up to Silver and I was a huge fan of his. And then she's like, "Yeah, look, Tara, it's Silver Quill. Silver <laughs> Tara's a huge fan of yours, and he was really <laughs> nervous to meet you." It's like in the side, I'm going, "Shut up, shut up." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but but then we, we work for a while now, and they're like, "Oh God, it's him." <laughs> yeah, but then things work out in the end. Now me and Silver are good friends and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, and, and I do understand the feeling. I do understand the feeling. It's one of those things where you want to make a good first impression. You want to kind of uh, show what you got and stuff. I mean, you you don't you want to show that you, <laughs> you want to show people that you know what you're doing. And you want to show good first impressions, but by being nervous, you kind of mess up in the process. So it's one of those things that what Twilight is going through is very relatable. And okay, granted, some of the scene is played up for laughs. And yeah, I don't mind it because uh, it's a comedy. So you got to do something like that, right? Yeah. Yep. So yeah. As for now, whatever Twilight is going through, it's relatable. 
But anywho, um, let's carry on. In the next scene, we see Twilight on Poshonova's couch, and Poshonova, being the what you call this psychiatrist, talks to Twilight and asks her what's her problem and stuff. And Twilight just explains that she's very nervous, uh, being Poshonova's apprentice and whatnot, and she wants to try and do. She wants to show a first good impression, and uh, she. Is so nervous that she might screw up, and Potion Nova just says, "You know, Twilight. Um, how about you? You start nervous energy in and pour it into your potion. Uh, potion making is all about uh, feelings and pushing them or guiding them to potion making. I I I don't remember how 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 was the line. If you remember, uh, hold on, I got the lines here." Uh, let me scroll down. So wait, where were we at? Uh, Potion Nova on couch with Twilight. Yeah, so she says how she's really feeling. Twilight says so nervous on the first day. She wanted to ma- she wanted to impress her, but she kept making stupid mistakes, and now she can't stop making stupid mistakes, even though she knows she's smarter than this, and that a Potion Nova is gonna think that she's dumb and bad at potions forever. Yes, <laughs> Potion understands and whatnot, and. The, um, they they redo again, and Twilight here kind of puts all her emotions into the potion making, and somehow it works. Yes, yeah, pretty much. All she did was just pour a po- pour a one drop into a potion, and then before the drop uh went inside, she she shouts, "I am so frustrated right now!" And then the potion drops, and yeah, and then it flies all over the place. I, does it work? Oh, I, 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 she yeah, does they poses. Really, they never really got to that saying if it did work or not. They just like, oh, did it work? And it's like, we'll see. And then just kept sizzling around. Potion was like, we'll get back to that. But they never do. Yeah, I, I think it kind of worked because um, after Potion Nova does poses and whatnot, it kind of settles down. So, yay, I guess it's a success. So, <laughs> Potion Nova and Twilight lay down on the floor for a bit, just resting. And them exchanging feelings because Twilight says she was very nervous becoming Potion Nova's apprentice because she's so smart, she knows about potion making and that's really cool. And Potion Nova just admits that I I was nervous because I never had an apprentice that was smart like you. You you're kind of a you're kind of really smart. So for me, I I was really nervous just uh, being around you. Like you're kind of smart. So they laugh and whatnot and hang out for a bit. And I I think what they go and well, uh, <laughs> uh, Twilight just mentions Potion Nova is great at everything, um, baking breads and whatnot. And Nova just mentions that, uh, not really, I, I don't know how to dance. And she tries dancing, and um, I, I, I guess it was better than Twilight's, <laughs> somehow. Uh, then Twilight laughs at Potion Nova and says, yeah, you dance bad, but you should <laughs> see me. Uh, I can't dance with two legs. Oh, what's this thing called dancing? And if that episode ends. So, Tara, what do you think? Well, like I said, it basically, again, you get nowhere at the beginning, just a little setup. But then later on, you know, it's like I said, it's very relatable. The lesson's very good. And it just it has a, it has a, like, I can't really say much. It just has a great lesson. I mean, I can't really say much because, again, Pony Life is very short episodes. But from what I can say with this episode, it has a good lesson on, you know, you are going to fail, but just don't try too hard to impress people, you know? Yeah, do the best you can. Like that's that's the thing with, uh, the lesson here. Uh, I don't think that it hit hard, but the the lesson here is that do your best. Like tr- try your best and do your best because you may not get it on the first try, or you may not get it right on the first try, but 
nobody expects you to do it perfectly unless you're a paid professional that everybody expects you to do it on the first try because that's what you're getting paid for but if not that's besides the point <laughs> hmm. but the point of the lesson of, for this episode is do your best and if you get it wrong no problem learn from your mistakes and try not to do it again and people are there to help and guide you especially when uh, you have a mentor because the mentor's job there is to guide and teach you so it's easy as that really I mean it's not that hard yeah but it's a good lesson it is a good lesson Um, if I remember right we don't have anything like that yet or was it with Starlight? Because it seems that most of Starlight, most of Starlight's episodes are like that. Yeah, I think there was actually. I think there was one where um, I think she she tried to pull off the certain spell to impress Twilight, but it didn't go so well. Was it the one where she kind of brainwashed all her friends? Yeah, something like that. I mean, <clears throat> the the lesson is good that it has to be repeated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anywho, uh, Tara, what are we going to do for next week's episode? We're going to be doing some more Pony Life in the next week's episode. Yeah. So next week, we are going to review Season 1, Episode 16, I Cookie and Note... Oh, sorry, Keynote Pie. Wow, okay. <laughs> That's a bit of a tongue twister there. I know. But hey, okay. Uh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Uh, there, there's a fun fact about... The title of I, Cookie, is a reference to the 1950s Isaac As uh, Asimov science fiction novel, I, Robot. Okay. Ah, I, Robot. <laughs> ah, yeah, okay. This this is going to be fun. I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, yeah, we got that for next week. So anyway, if you have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us which is on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Tara, where can the good people find you? Well, the good people can find me on Facebook, DeviantArt, Twitter, or YouTube under the name Tartero1324. Or they can just do a Google search and I'll be on all platforms, including my Patreon page. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Guys, go check him out. Also, you... <laughs> also, please subscribe to Radio on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitch Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on live.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at patreon.com slash the MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to the review discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Lucky Knight, Jeffrey, myself, like, and also Tristan. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. And I've been Hotera. And we'll guys catch you next week with another fun episode of MBS Show. See ya! Bye-bye! Cats, where are you? Cats? Where? where where's your cat? <laughs> he is nowhere to be seen. Oh, wow, okay. No, no <laughs> cats in there. We don't have a cat ending for this one. Oh, no. He's probably trapped uh, in a bottle or something. No, get him out! Cat I'll try my best. Around. I'll try my best, Norman. Alright, see you later, boys.